Okay, this week our emphasis is on seeds and plants and planting seeds. And hopefully at your house, you can help plant some seeds at your house. Um, if some of you wanna come in, we will find some seeds around here. Mrs. Ryan and I are gonna go and we'll demonstrate how to plant some seeds. And you'll have a packet about seeds. Like today would be great for you to do the one that what does a seed need to grow? We're going to read this book, How, how a Seed Grows and see if it answers some of those questions for you. How a Seed Grows by Helen Jordan, illustrated by Loretta Krapinski. <laughs> a seed is a little plant. It is a plant that has not started to grow. Apple trees and daisies, carrots and corn, clover and wheat, all grow from seeds. Here is a tree seed. Someday it will be a tree like this. Here is a flower seed. Someday it will be a flower like this. Remember when we grew sunflowers last year and you got to get the seeds out of them? I saved some of those seeds and they're in my refrigerator and I'll bring them and we'll plant them to make new sunflower seeds that for um, fall that you'll see when you come back. Some seeds grow slowly. These are the seeds of an oak tree. An oak tree grows very, very slowly. Suppose you planted an oak tree seed. You would be a father or a mother or even a grandfather or a grandmother and the oak tree would still be growing. Some seeds grow fast. This is a bean seed. It grows very fast. It grows so fast that it becomes a bean plant in just a few weeks. You can plant bean seeds yourself. We use pole beans. You can use pole beans, bush beans, or lima beans. Remember when we opened the lima beans that looked like this and we soaked them in water and you opened them to see what the parts of a seed were? You can plant the seeds in eggshells or tin cans or old cups or little flower pots. Be sure that your containers have holes in the bottom. We used eggshells. We used a pencil to make holes in the eggshells. See how they put little holes in the bottom? That's so that the water doesn't sit in there and kind of go rotten. It has to be able to drain out the water if you get too much. We fill 12 eggshells with soil like this. Soil is another word for dirt. We made a hole in the soil with a finger like this. See how they put a little hole in there? When you have made a hole in the soil, plant a bean seed in it. Plant one seed in each hole. Cover the seed with some more soil. See how they're putting soil on top? Sprinkle the soil carefully with a little bit of water. Number the shells. Write the number one on the first shell Put the number two on the next shell. Keep going until all of the shells are numbered from one to 12. It would be fun to do that at your house and do different kinds of seeds in lots of the different shells. Put all the eggshells in an egg carton. Put the carton in sunlight on a windowsill. Some bean seeds grow faster than others. Our seeds began to grow in just three days. Your bean seeds may take a little longer. You won't be able to see your seeds growing yet. They start to grow under the soil where you can't see them. Water your seeds a little bit every day. The water soaks into the seeds. The seeds begin to grow. More water soaks into the seeds. The seeds get fatter and fatter. Wait for three days and then dig up seed number one. It may be soft, it may be fat. Maybe it will look the same as it did before. Soon the seed will grow so fast that its skin will pop off. Remember when we took the, um, the seed coat off of it? In two more days, dig up the seed number two. So they're having you look up how they're changing. Maybe it will look different now. Maybe the skin of the seed will be loose. Now a root starts to grow. The root grows from one side of the bean seed. The root pushes down into the soil, down and down. 
dig up seed number three. You can see the root, or can you see the root? Does it look like this? If you do not see a root, wait for another day. Then dig up seed number four. Do you see the root going down? The roots actually start growing before the stem does. After a few more days, dig up seed number five. Something else is happening. Little roots will be growing from the big root. They look like tiny white hairs. They are called root hairs. Remember when we talked about the root hairs, when we talked about the parts of a root? Can you see the root hairs going out? The primary root, the secondary root, root, and then the root hairs. Day after day, the root, roots and root hairs push down into the soil. Day after day, the bean seeds are pushed up. The soil is pushed aside. Watch your seeds. Soon you will see pale shoots push through the soil. A shoot is the beginning of a green plant. A shoot grows toward the sun. Watch your seeds. Some may have come through the ground. Some may have broken open. Maybe some of your seeds have not started to grow. How many are growing? Count them. The bean seeds grow fast. The shoots turn green. The leaves come next. Now your bean seeds are bean plants. They look like this. How many of your bean seeds are bean plants? A seed needs many things to grow. A seed needs soil. Remember, soil is another word for dirt. And water and sun. And one more thing on your plant that this book didn't say, but your seed also needs air. If I put your seed in a plastic bag, it'll start, but pretty soon when the air is gone, it's gonna turn rotten. If a seed has all these things, it will grow into a plant. It will grow into the same kind of plant that it came from, an apple tree or a daisy or carrots or corn. It will grow into, cl um, into clover or it will grow into a bean plant like the ones that you planted. The end. Okay, boys and girls, one of my very favorite parts of spring, which you're missing, is when our tulips start coming um, out in our garden. And later, when it warms up again, we're going to go ahead and we're going to um, use some of the children that are here in our child care, and we're going to let them plant our sunflower seeds. But if you look right down here, and you all know that on Easter Day, it looked more like Christmas <laughs> Day because it snowed. But look at how big the tulips are. They haven't started making flowers and it's supposed to get super cold tonight. So I hope it doesn't kill our tulips, but we have them around three sides of our garden. And we'll take more pictures when they start blooming and hopefully the, like I say, the cold temperatures tonight won't kill them, but tulips are pretty hardy. That means that they can survive quite a few temperatures.